Recently, I put out a video that showed the A to Z tutorial to generate and create realistic AI t-shirt mockups for your business. In today's video, there's been an exciting new development that makes this even easier. I'm gonna show you this new method with a new software that's really gonna change the game for AI mockups. As you're probably aware, AI is getting more and more realistic each and every day, and it's a pretty incredible tool for us to use as e-commerce and print-on-demand or clothing and apparel sellers. Recently, that video that I mentioned in the intro, I put out uh, which showed creating kind of these blank AI mockups using Midjourney or Ideogram or other tools, and I put out a number of videos related to that, but then there was a pretty manual process after that requiring like Photoshop or Photop to lay your design onto the AI generated mockup and make it look really realistic. I've recently discovered a brand new AI tool that makes making these realistic mockups so much easier. Actually, one of my students inside of my program mentioned it to me and I've been absolutely obsessed with it ever since I found out about it. Before I jump into it and show you this software, I wanna let you know that this video is not sponsored in any way. I am currently not an affiliate for this company and I get no monetary kickback or any kind of payment for making this content. I'm truly just a huge fan of what they've been able to do with this software, and so I wanna show it to you right now. The software is called Recraft AI, and this video is not meant to be a full breakdown or a full review of this AI software because it really does a lot of different things, but here's what you see on the homepage. It says AI for pro designers, and I hope to, in future videos, get into some of the other features and different uh, functions that this software has but today I have to show you their mock-up features because it's truly mind-blowing. Before we jump into that, I do wanna take a moment to show you the pricing. They do have a free plan, but I would recommend that most of you, if not all of you, consider going to the basic plan, which is $10 per month if you pay annually or $12 per month if you pay monthly. That's currently what I'm using, and that gives you a couple really good features. Uh, first of all, all your generated images are private, and the big thing here is that full ownership and commercial rights. Uh, you can use these like in your business for to sell and to promote on social media. Really anything you generate with Recraft, you can use commercially and you have full ownership. And I love that everything is in private, right? Because a lot of AI softwares, even with paid plans, do not give you private generation. You can do some of what I'm about to show you on the free plan, but do be aware of do you wanna learn the best prompts to use in your AI image generation software to get the most realistic designs and mockups and just generate the best AI art? If so, I wanna invite you to go get my free AI prompt guide, which includes 171 different words you can use in your prompts by just going over to carryegler.com slash prompts. Again, this is a completely free download. You just go and put in your email and then you can download that prompt guide. Go get it at carryegler.com slash prompts. Back to the video. You can do some of what I'm about to show you on the free plan, but do be aware of the limitations and the uh, restriction on not using it for commercial use. What I'm going to show you is one small feature in Recraft that is absolutely incredible, but it's just their mock-up feature. There's so much more that you can do in Recraft, and I personally don't know how good any of the other features are because I haven't really explored what all this software can do, but I'm just showing you this mock-up feature. So what I'm gonna start by doing is I have a new project open here in the inside of Recraft. This is just a, the blank kind of new project. I'm gonna drag in a AI generated mock-up. Now, what I'm gonna show you is that you can also drag in any photo and it will turn it into a mock-up. But let's just start with this AI mock-up that I generated in mid-journey. So that's kind of the first thing here, right? Is if you're going, you're, you're using completely AI mock-ups, you can generate them on any platform and then bring them into Recraft. So if you're using mid-journey, using Leonardo, Ideogram, Dolly, I mean, any of the different uh, platforms, you can generate the mock-up over there of your person or flat lay or whatever, and you can drag that into Recraft. Now watch how incredible this is. So we have our image right here inside of our project area. We're simply gonna come up here to the top and we're gonna click on this little flag button and that's going to convert our image into a mock-up. Now if you've ever used 
a tool called Place It. If you're a print on demand, you're a clothing or apparel seller, you may have used this software called Place It. I absolutely love Place It. I think it's an, uh, just an amazing tool for uh, clothing and apparel and print on demand and sellers and so much more. But this kind of turns your image, basically turns your image into a Place It-like image. It's incredible. So we've clicked the mock-up uh, button. Now, all that I need to do is drag in a, a design. I'm gonna drag in this uh, design that I got from a Kittle template right here. It says overcome through perseverance. Now, I've got it right here. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller. Now, as I drag it over onto my image, it literally lays it onto the image like a realistic mock-up, okay? It turns your image into a realistic mock-up. Now, I'm gonna scale it down to where I get it kind of the right size, okay? We're gonna keep scaling it down until we get it the size that we want. And you can see how it moves with the contour of the shirt, right? And as we scale it down and kind of just place it in the right spot, it does all the work for us. This is something that I previously would spend a lot of time in Photoshop lay, doing the different layers and shading and different things. This tool does it all for me instantly. And just like that, I have a super realistic mock-up. I can zoom in, we can kind of look at this, but it looks super realistic. It lays over the curves, it blends it in, right? And it just looks really, really good in no time. This is just one use case, uh, one way that you can use it. I'm gonna show you a few other ways, but wow. Um, there's so much more you can do in here. I'm sure that you can adjust, you know, the lighting and different things and the, you know, the, the brightness and colors and all those kind of things, but just without doing anything, I mean, look how incredible this looks. Now what you see on my screen here is I've dragged in a more of a flat lay or just an image of a t-shirt, right? I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna click on the convert to mock-up button and this is gonna work exactly the same way, but you could do this with any image. Now that I've converted my image to a mock-up, I'm gonna drag in a design. That design's gonna pop in right there in the corner. We're gonna try to get it scaled down. The best way to do it is really just try to do it before you drag it on the image, but I'm gonna scale it down to somewhere around there. We're gonna drag it on top of our image. It's literally gonna just make it realistic, just like a place it mock-up, like you've probably seen. And we can just place it where we want it on the design. And I mean, how does it do this? It's crazy. I don't know, I'm pretty obsessed with it, but look at that. Uh, just a super realistic uh, mock-up created in no time. One more fun example here is I'm just gonna drag in a picture of myself, right? So we could even drag in like a real image. Maybe you have a photo shoot that you've done with some of your customers and you wanna turn those into digital mock-ups here that look super realistic. So I'm gonna drag in a picture of myself. I'm gonna hit convert to mock-up. Again, it takes no time, it's super easy. And once that converts to a mock-up, I'm gonna drag in my design. So let's give it just one second here. Okay, let's drag in our design. So we'll get our design in there. Now let's put it on the t-shirt. There it is. Let's scale this down to get it the right size. And just like that, we have taken a real image uh, that was taken with a real camera and we turned it into a super realistic t-shirt mock-up. You can also use Recraft to generate the complete AI mock-up from start to finish. Now, it's only going to generate one as a, at a time as opposed to like mid-journey that would create four at a time and give you some different options, but it does a really good job. It's sh shockingly good uh, at generating people. So over here, I clicked on mock-up and I'm just gonna put in a very simple prompt. A woman standing in a city wearing a blank black t-shirt facing the camera. We're gonna hit recraft and we're gonna give it just a few seconds. Okay, this is what it gave us right here. This is the mock-up. Let's zoom in just a little bit. So that's what we got here. Obviously we could tweak the prompt, we could generate this again. But what's cool about doing it this way too, if we click on the mock-up button and then we generate the picture of the person, it's going to automatically come out as a mock-up. So I don't even have to press any additional buttons. So again, I'm gonna drag in a design. I'm gonna take it and scale it down just a little bit pull it over here into my image, and you can see how it lays right on the t-shirt. I'm just gonna get it scaled down to the right size and get it in the right place. And just like that, you have your super realistic mock-up. And this is 
created from start to finish in Recraft, right? You can even see in this one how, because this is a Recraft generated image, it even looks a little bit more realistic. It turned the design a little bit to the side, right? And it really grows over the curvature of that image. So it's, it's just incredible. So that's just a little snippet of what you can do with this incredible tool, Recraft, when it comes to mockups. Keep in mind, you can generate a lot of other things in Recraft as well for mockups, things like mugs or pieces of wall art or even hats and different styles of clothing. I mean, pretty much any product you can think of, you could just create an AI generated mockup of that product in any kind of setting and then turn it into a mock-up with just a click of a button. So I think this tool is a game changer for AI mock-ups and I haven't seen any other softwares that are able to do this at this time. If you've heard of one, definitely drop that down in the comments because I'd love to hear about it. But I wanna thank you for watching today's video and we'll see you next week.